the president of Power Construction Corporation of China, also known as PowerChina, announced its plans to develop large-scale hydropower on the lower Yarlung Sangpo River, known as the Brahmaputra in India. This has long been a bone of contention between the two countries, with India fearing that large-scale damming of the river upstream by China will effectively cut off its water supply downstream. The Brahmaputra River runs across the Tibetan Plateau before passing through India and Bangladesh. While these fears are based on a misconception of how much water is contributed to the river in Chinese territory, the ecological impacts of large dam building in the region will be immense. The project could play a significant role in helping China reach its goal to achieve peak carbon emissions before 2030 and carbon neutrality by 2060 and would bring money and development to the Tibet Autonomous Region. The development of nearly 60 gigawatts of hydropower in the lower reaches of the Yarlung Sangpo can provide nearly 300 billion kilowatt hours per year, offering a glimpse into the huge scale of the project proposed in the Grand Canyon of the Yarlung Sangpo, where the river takes a sharp bend and drops over 2,000 meters, making it an ideal place to generate hydropower. The area has 70 gigawatts of technically exploitable hydro resources, more than triple the capacity of the Three Gorges Dam. China had already planned five smaller dams along the mainstream of the Yarlung Sangpo. So far, two of them have been completed, in 2014 and August this year respectively, according to the website of the China Society for Hydropower Engineering. In recent years there has been speculation in China on the commissioning of this sixth project, which is frequently referred to as, Medog Hydropower Station, after the county where it is located in southeast Tibet. The Dibang project has been on the drawing board for six years, but project developers have still not been able to come up with a plan that can minimize damage in this fragile biodiversity-rich region. And in these six years, India has become an electricity surplus country, so the developer's interest has cooled off. The basis of the fear. A dam in upstream China will not reduce water flow to India unless there is a reservoir behind it, say experts. If there is no reservoir and it is a run of the river project, electricity is produced by channeling water through a tunnel, rather than impounding the water. China says the two dams that have been completed further upstream are also for run of the river hydroelectricity projects. However, a dam of the scale envisaged in China's latest five year plan will hold back silt, which provides essential nutrients for soil and farming downstream. The combined dam plans of China and India could have disastrous ecological consequences in one of the world's most fragile regions, experts have warned. There is also serious worry in India because China's plan to divert the Wa. Tours of the Yarlung Sangpo to northern China has not gone away, though it continues to face serious opposition within China. The impacts of climate change are already acute in this region, known as the roof of the world. The glaciers and snowlines of the Himalayas are retreating. If this continues, the waterways of the Tibetan Plateau could first flood and then dry up, turning the land into a desert. Today, the ecosystem of the gorge region where the Yarlung Sangpo leaves the Tibetan Plateau, called the Great Bend and where this mega dam is planned, is already in decline. The primary forests are disappearing, leading to a rapid spread of soil erosion and landslides. This is also a highly earthquake-prone region, putting any large structure at immense risk. Thank you for watching us.